If you haven't rewatched Brooklyn Nine-Nine for a while, it's time to do it. And right now, tune into the updates about its cast. Why does Andy Samberg think that they ended the series at the right moment? What about her husband freaked Melissa Fumero out? And how did Rose's bisexuality help Stephanie Beatrice come to terms with hers? I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. Andy Samberg. Last year, the actor fondly recalled how much Brooklyn Nine-Nine meant to him. It's just nice to come to work every day and work with people that you are pulling for and that you are happy to see, Andy shared. So it's no wonder the actor got emotional on their final day of filming. It was tough. It was tough. There was a lot of crying and all that. But he still managed to see the silver lining. At the beginning of a two-year-long and running pandemic is a great time to stop shooting a show. He's right. After finishing his Jake Peralta run, Andy played quite a few other roles. For example, he voices the main character in the animated sitcom Digman. Besides, the actor tried himself in drama and starred in the biopic Lee alongside Kate Winslet and Alexander Skarsgård. In his personal life, Andy is also doing fine. He's been married to musician Joanna Newsom for 10 years. The actor has always been her fan, and they even met after one of her concerts. These days, they have two kids and support each other in their careers. Did you notice that Joanna appeared in a small role in Brooklyn Nine-Nine's finale? And the husband of the next actress also had a cameo in the series, Melissa Fumero. Brooklyn Nine-Nine changed her life so she could barely hold back tears while discussing its ending. It's kind of like a miracle that everything about this show is so magically wonderful. Melissa even said that she'd never work in a workplace comedy again. But the offer to join Netflix's comedy Blockbuster made her think twice. The script was written by Vanessa Ramos, whom Melissa met on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The actress never regretted her decision to join the cast, as she had fun on the set. And her performance was praised for being engaging and passionate. Melissa's husband, actor David Fumero, is certainly proud of her. They've been married since 2007 and have two sons together. Interestingly, Melissa had a huge crush on David as a teen. At 13 years old, she saw him in Mariah Carey's music video, Honey. And I was obsessed with that hot guy at the end of the video. But here's the irony. Melissa didn't even recognize David when she met him personally. As she finally realized that it was him, the actress was overwhelmed. And I just like went to the bathroom in my apartment and had like a silent freak out. These days, they're happy together. And David even appeared in one of the Brooklyn Nine-Nine episodes, moving on to another star of the series, Terry Crews. The actor was depressed when the series came to an end. I just feel all these goosebumps because I don't want it to end. I, I really, I'm in denial. But he had to accept this fact eventually. After Nine-Nine, Terry kept busy as a host of America's Got Talent. Besides, he appeared in a few other projects such as Space Force and Hot Wheels. Regarding the actor's personal life, he's doing pretty well. He's been married to his wife, Rebecca King, since 1989. They have four daughters, a son and a grandchild. Of course, Terry and Rebecca faced challenges during all these years. He had an addiction to adult films and it almost cost him his marriage. My wife was literally like, I don't know you anymore. I'm out of here. And that changed me. It had, I had to change because I realized, yo, this thing is a major, major problem. Together, they managed to overcome this, and eventually, it made their union stronger. Let's wish them to stay this way and move on to the next actress. Stephanie Beatrice. Did you know that her real-life voice is totally different from what Rosa sounds like? That's a hard sort of truth to come to that's like... For her, finishing Brooklyn Nine-Nine was, in a way, similar to graduating high school. It's just like this one period of your life, and that's really what this show has been. It's just been this one very special period of our lives. But as it ended, Stephanie was ready to move on. These days, she stars in the post-apocalyptic action comedy series Twisted Metal, based on video games with the same name. The show's been very successful so far, and has already been renewed for a second season. Besides that, we'll hear Stephanie's voice next year in the animated musical series Has Been Hotel. She's excited about it and has already begun promoting it on her Instagram. Now it's time to talk about the actress's personal life. Like Rosa from Nine Nine, she's bisexual. Stephanie went through a lot as she was coming to terms with her sexuality. 
Interestingly, it continued up until Rosa revealed hers in the series. My parents watch the show every week, and they know that I'm bi, but they haven't really fully embraced it. It helped them better understand her journey through her character. So these days, Stephanie is doing fine. She's been married to actor Brad Haas for five years. They enjoy parenting their baby girl, who is now two years old. And here's another happy dad, Joe Lotrulio. When asked what he'd miss the most about Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the actor's reply was immediate. I mean, the cast, the, the, my friends. And the fact that it ended almost made him cry. Brooklyn Nine-Nine to me was a uh, beautiful gift. Yeah, we know it meant a lot to us as well. After the series was over, Joe got to work on other projects. And this year, he made his directorial debut. It's his horror film, Outpost. Quite a shift from comedy to scary movies, right? But it turns out that Joe was very much into this genre before becoming a comedian, so it's a dream come true for him. What made this step even more fascinating was casting his own wife, Beth Dover, in a starring role. Sure, the film came as a challenge for the spouses, and staying in separate hotel rooms during production helped Joe and Beth endure the filming. It was their way to find solace and escape. Joe and Beth have been married for almost a decade and have a son. And did you notice her cameo in one of the episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Share in the comments below if you have. While we're moving on to Chelsea Peretti. She was the perfect Gina. So it's hard to imagine that the actress initially auditioned for another role. Chelsea wanted to play Rosa, although the character didn't even have a name at that point. But eventually, the show writers created Gina specially for her. Chelsea had a lot of fun playing this sarcastic and confident gal. And these days, the actress is busy with her other projects. Earlier this year, we saw her in the comedy drama Cora Bora, which was praised by critics. And she made her feature directorial debut with the film First Time Female Director. Chelsea also starred in it and had a lot of fun. My cast is all geniuses. I feel like crying, oh no. Her personal life is also fine. The actress has been in a relationship with comedian Jordan Peele for over a decade. They have a son together and Chelsea loves being a mom. Just look at how happy she is. This is how I smile now. She captioned the photo. Unfortunately, the 9-9 cast lost one of the stars just recently. Andre Brower. Sadly, this actor passed away on December 11th. As it was later disclosed, lung cancer took his life. He was diagnosed only a few months ago, so the news came as a shock to everyone. Andre's 9-9 co-stars didn't take long to share their tributes. Terry Crews wrote that he was honored to know the actor and work with him for eight years. And he added that Andre showed him what a life well-lived looks like. Chelsea Peretti recalled his unique voice and said they often had deep, meaningful conversations. Often with me hanging in your doorway, barring your exit, the actress jokingly added. Melissa Fumero shared that they also talked a lot, and she'd never forget the advice he gave her. I will remember all the times we laughed because your laugh was one of the all-time greatest laughs to have ever existed, she wrote. Mark Evan Jackson, who played Captain Holt's husband, Kevin, also posted a brief yet meaningful tribute. Oh, Captain, my Captain, he wrote as a caption to their touching on-set photo. Indeed, the loss is devastating for everyone who loved Andre. He wasn't only a successful Emmy-winning actor boasting dazzling performances in comedy and drama. Brower was also a family man. He adored his wife of 32 years, Ami Brabson, and their three sons, and his family was more important to Andre than his career accomplishments. I think it could have spanned more disciplines, directing, producing, all these other different things, but it would have been at the expense of my own life, the actor once shared. Andre will forever remain in the hearts of everyone who loved him, and he will certainly be missed. 